A 17 year old homicide suspect is in the hospital with life threatening injuries after police say he wrestled with a Metro police officer this afternoon. Police say that teenager fired a shot and then the officer fired back hitting him. It all happened at 3rd and Kenton Avenue right near the backside of Churchill Downs in South Louisville. WHS 1119's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie are right now at UofL Hospital downtown where that 17 year old is being treated. Uh, Taylor, you were at the scene. What's the latest here tonight? Well, so far, Doug, tonight that a 17 year old homicide suspect is still fighting for his life in critical condition right here at UofL Hospital. And this makes the second officer involved shooting just over the last four days. And neighbors I talked to tell me they're tired of the violence. It's getting scary and it's getting worse and every day is something somehow of some sort. Some residents in the Wilder Park neighborhood say they aren't surprised after a Louisville Metro police officer shot a 17 year old during a struggle. Kim C was at home when the police shooting happened. Well, I heard a few gunshots, but I hear that all the time, so I'm kind of getting used to it. But then after I started hearing all the police cars. Kim walked outside and saw several LMPD cars everywhere. LMPD says detectives were at 3rd and Kenton Avenue at 3 o'clock conducting surveillance on the 17 year old who they believe is tied to an ongoing homicide investigation from last week. Police say the suspect showed a firearm and began to run away. Detectives were able to tackle the armed subject and began to wrestle for the gun in the suspect's hand. After multiple requests to release the gun, the suspect discharged the firearm. One LMPD officer then shot the suspect one time. The individual is a 17-year-old Hispanic male. At this time, we do not believe there is any further danger to the public. The officers rendered aid to the 17-year-old boy who was transported to U of L Hospital. Kim has lived in the area for 25 years and has been more alert of her surroundings over the last few years. If you get a thousand and one police cars a half a block from where you live, and you're not gonna go and kind of be nose at what's going on around you. Jonathan Garth agrees. He lives just a few blocks down from where the shooting happened at, and is thinking about moving soon. It does make me feel a little less secure about uh, about living here. A police search that escalated in a matter of minutes now has some residents hoping this will be a wake up call to the homicide suspect. I just pray that he pulls through and, uh, you know, get his life together. And LMPD say LMPD says body camera footage from today's officer involved shooting will be released over the next 10 business days. But they're also asking anyone who knows any information about this incident to contact their anonymous tip line at 574 LMPD reporting live at UofL Hospital. Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119 on your side.